Wait. Wait till they're close. If you ever liked the sound of the M1 ping, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, like and comment. The comment section is a little bit out of control, but you know what? YouTube is now sponsoring us, so that means that they can regret their decision ever bit more. This video is sponsored by Brownells. Brownells is bringing ancient weapons back from the grave. Definitely go and check their website out. They have just donated like $150,000 to the F. PC. So a big thank you to them for supporting 2A Rights. Now this particular video is sponsored by Simply Safe, a home security system. We'll talk more about that later. But for now, ladies, gentlemen, often forgotten, but most certainly not by me, Garands. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Garand Thumb. So the first question that we have is, how do you pronounce it? So John C. Garand actually put out a note and he asked that his preferred way of his name being pronounced was Garand, as in Erend. So we want to put a little bit of respect on that Canadian-born firearm designer's name because he did some great things. Now, in the U.S., everyone says Garand, whatever, NBD, but if we can, let's put a little bit of respect on So we have the Garand. So the question is, we have the M1 Garand right here, and what the hell is Grand Thumb, and what is a M1, and what is a Garand? Let's get into it. So if we come up right here on this particular rifle, we have the US Rifle 30 caliber M1. This particular one is from the CMP. It is a Springfield built. Um, this, one does, this one does have one of the new Kruger Criterion barrels. It is superbly accurate, a very well-made weapon. CMP has great resources when it comes to um, Garands. So we have that. This was the main infantry rifle of US forces during World War II. Now I understand many other rifles were used. This one was designed about the mid 30s to late 20s and of course came to production, was eventually used throughout all of World War II and the Korean War and into the Vietnam War and has been used in literally every other conflict because it is a very durable and a very robust design. So a little bit about it. We have a 24 inch barrel, weapon's about 10 pounds. We have a long stroke gas piston system, in fact, in many ways, the AK's gas system is very much so like a Grand, just flipped upside down compared to the Grand. So how the Grand works, if we come right up to it here, first thing to notice is how long the sight radius is. So long as you are doing the correct things, you have a very accurate rifle. Um, it's a very good and a very precise um, sighting system. So they did a really good job with that, the peep sight is fantastic. These are still used in many competitions throughout the country. Now, if you come over here with a long stroke gas piston system, of course, everything is somewhat connected from the op rod right here. So we can lock it back and we can see that this weapon locks back. So what's gonna happen is when I'm ready to load a clip in, so we have an in block clip because at the time they believed that soldiers could not be trusted with magazines and they were correct, Marines. So we have the in block clip right here and it inserts into an internal magazine. So what happens is when we insert that clip all the way, what it's going to do is release that bolt so that it can ride forward. Now, depending on what's going on, the bolt will either slam forward as I release it, or it might get caught. We'll see what happens here. So what you're gonna do at this point is give the op rod a vigorous smack, and then of course we have a loaded rifle at that point. Now, at times, that might not load very smoothly, and that's due to a lot of factors, both the ammunition getting bound on each other, it could be due to the parkerization on the inside of the in-block clip, if you want to come right over here. So you can see that these rounds right on the inside of the in-block right here, and if there's a lot of parkerization on the inside there, that could 
arrest their movement forward for that bolt, which is why you needed it, why you would need to give it a smack. In fact, if you watch some of those older World War II films, you can see it's kind of a mystery. Sometimes you load it and that bolt just slams right the fuck forward. Sometimes you load it and they kind of hesitantly release their finger and nothing happens and they give it a smack. And then as they're about to give it a smack, it slams forward. It's, it's a mystery. It's, it's kind of the great mystery of the M1 Grand. Is it going to eat your thumb? Is it hungry today? Who knows? It's a little game you play at the Grand. It's like the eighth wonder of the world. What is the Grand going to do today? But in any case, I think it's important that we hear that ping because, it, because you see, every time I fire, this is a gas-operated semi-automatic weapon. It will cycle, eject the spent round af out, load the fresh round in, and then it will do that until it hits that last round. Once that last round is fired, it will eject this empty in-block clip and it will send it sky high with that very satisfying ping. So with movie science right now, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn on our high-speed camera and we're gonna fire this thing in normal speed and slow motion with our wonderful, wonderful sound design. Never fucking know. What a good time. So, come over here. Now that we have this out, we can talk a little bit about actually giving ourselves Grand Thumb. So, everyone's worried about Grand Thumb because you never know when that bolt is going to snap forward. And there are, of course, ways to deal with it. So, we're gonna talk about those. Grand Thumb isn't very safe, but you know what is safe? Simply Safe. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to give a big thank you to them for sponsoring the channel. Now, in this case, what's great about Simply Safe is we have a home security system. Now, when you're young E3, you're a young college student, it's a little bit difficult to buy the entire security system right off the bat. So what I like about Simply Safe is that you can piecemeal things together. We have tons of different things from door cams to room cameras to glass break sensors, water sensors. Uh, the home station works when it's disconnected from electricity. And what's great for the types of stuff that me and you do is that we can add layers of security to certain rooms. So if you need more security on a room, you can add more cameras, you can add more door sensors, and those can alert your phone and let you know what's going on. And don't forget that there's an interactive monitoring service. They're gonna call the police if there's any alerts or anything like that. They're always online ready to help you out, get you in contact to protect the services if needed. So take 20% off your Simply Safe security system and your first month will be free when you sign up with uh, me through simplysafe.com forward slash Grantham. We're gonna have it right below for you guys and definitely give them a big thank you for sponsoring this channel. So one way that I was always taught to load a grand is that when you press it in, what you can do first off, make sure that your round is on the right side. That way it's easier to put pressure on that particular round. But also, blade your hand down. You can see a lot of World War II and Korean War vets doing this when they're loading their weapons. We'll pop up a picture right here. That way, after the in-block is set, you don't have that op rod riding forward and snatching your thumb. Now, if you compare that to older World War II films, like from the early 40s, you'll notice that they don't do this, either due to the fact that they don't have a lot of time on it or simply because they're just kind of learning, you know? So we have the luxury of knowing. So when I'm loading this, I blade my hand down, push down, it wants to ride forward, but I'm blocking with my hand, release it, hit it forward, and we are good to go. So we have a dummy round right there, so we'll go ahead and we'll pop that guy out. And if we need to release the end block, it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna hold the op rod all the way back, and there's this little button right on the side that allows me to release that end block. And then you can then go ahead and either top it off or do what you need to, but it is very easy to release that end block that is either partially expended or full from the M1 Grand. Now, <sighs> thing I'm dreading is going to be giving myself that one grand. I don't know if I want to do it. Okay, fine. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be a bitch. So, for the first time on Grand Thumb, we have Grand Thumb giving himself Grand Thumb on the channel named Grand Thumb. I think it's pretty deep. <laughs> so, let's, let's go ahead and let's go to, get into this. Uh, are we ready for this, Micah? Yeah, dude. Uh... It's been a long time coming. Yeah, you're right, dude. All right, here we go. 
First time getting ourselves Grand Thumb. Micah, are you in slow motion right now? I am definitely in slow motion. Fuck my life, dude. Good angle. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. That wasn't too bad as far as Grand Thumb goes. Just kind of pinched it a little bit, and that's typically what happens. See, a lot of people, when they show Grand Thumb, what they do is they stick their finger all the way into an empty chamber. And that's not really true. You get grand thumb by loading it with rounds in there. It kind of pinches your finger a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that several more times because I hate my life, clearly. <sighs> right, here we go. Let's do it really poorly. Okay, that was a good one. So you can see right there, it's pushing, putting quite a bit of pressure on there, trying to close the round. That's a good one. I know you did it twice, but I kind of want to get a, <laughs> like a bird's eye view angle of it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So it's not terrible. You know, there are many uh, firearms that do this, like the Hakim, and that thing is horrible. So this isn't as bad, but God, the things I do for YouTube. Okay. Right, here we go. Yeah, that thumb's a little sore, dude. Okay. I got my bird's eye shot. Okay, here we go. Wow. <sighs> See, that time. Oh. <laughs> That was a good one. Fuck my life. We're doing it again. Okay. This is now the pain games. I'm sure Houston Jones will love this video right here. And we're going to give ourselves Grand Thumb one more time. God, that was a bad one. Come on, baby. Oh, I got saved. Thank you, I'm on Grand. Well, you know what? I have given myself Grand Thumb more than enough times. But you know what? I love you guys, and we're going to give yourselves one more, one more, because you know what? We're going to do it good. We're doing it big. Mm, fuck. So that's a good one right there. It pinches your fucking finger. But you know what? A lot of videos and like movies will show like the guy gets Grand Thumb, he's like, oh my god, I'm going to die. It's not bad. It just kind of, Grand Thumb just kind of nicks your thumb. You're just like, dang, that's just kind of all you feel like. But you know what? I'm pretty experienced with the M1 Grand. I've been shooting it for quite a while, hence my name is Grand Thumb. But the question is, what will it be like when we get some absolute novices to try out the Grand and get Grand Thumb when they don't know what the fuck's gonna happen? These are great questions. Let's go ahead and let's try it out. Have you ever shot a Grand before? I have not. Cool, you wanna get Grand Thumb? I guess so. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna load it wrong. Sounds good. Do you know how to load it wrong? I sounds like I'm just gonna try and load just it. just keep your thumb in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, cool. So I want you to use the red rounds. Yep, Those are dummy rounds, yep. and uh, you're essentially just gonna get it in there. You can see the little dimple right there. That's where yep. the dimple goes. You're just gonna push that bitch right in. All right, sounds good. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, we have a we have a crew watching. It's not bad. That's, that's it's not, it's not right. too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> All right. You're going to give it to yourself one more time, and this time, we're just going to go ahead and fuck you. You ready? So put your thumb up there, right by the chamber. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. It's not bad though, right? Everyone acts like it's a really big deal. It's not, not that bad. bad. Who's not next? Bad. <laughs> you were a Marine. Once a Marine, always a Marine. This is like your people's rifle. Front there. <laughs> you sure? All right. Hi, my name's Tilly, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. Good time. This is my camera guy. I don't like him. <laughs> All right, Micah, you All ready? Right, yeah, I'm You've loaded the grand. I'm, I've, I've do it twice. Do it wrong. Okay. And don't be a bitch and like try to pull your thumb out. You got... How do you? How do you hey, fuck up I that edit, bad? I edit these out. <laughs> I, I edit these out. How do you fuck up that bad? Hey, <laughs> push from the rear right there. From right here? Yeah. But that's where I hurt my thumb. <laughs> I can't. Oh! Oh! Under the rail! Under the rail! Get it out! Get it out! Oh, oh my god! Oh. It got under the rail! Oh, oh my god! How are you, you got so bad at this? You said do it bad! 
<laughs> Dear God! Oh, I think I got it worse than all of you. Like, really, like everyone makes it out to be this thing where you're just gonna fucking die as soon as the grand closes on your thumb. It's not so much the case. Fuck, oh. that was actually one of the worst ones I've had. Yeah. She bit me. Like I said, you never know what's gonna happen with the M1 Grand, and that is the best part about it. But once again, the biggest thing with the Grand is once you have it loaded, just go ahead and keep that palm down or a finger right in front of there, and that will rest it, and then you can let it go forward at that point. NBD there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video on the M1 Grand. I know we did quite a bit. You guys enjoy yourselves? I know, it was fucking terrible. Now. Let's see, where's Chili? Actually, yeah, let's get Chili Kit. Come out here, guys. So, as cool as the Grand is, right, what matters is training, guys. We always talk about training. Do you guys want to go ahead and pimp yourselves for a second? Uh, so, my name's Chili. I'm with Epsilon Outreach now, Outreach Foundation. Nice. We do uh, local training out here in the PNW, mostly in Washington. I'm located in Emanclaw, Washington right now, but we have guys up in Everett, and we also have a bunch of dudes down south. Yep, I'm up in Marysville. I'm always constantly helping Epsilon and a bunch of the local shooters to get out there and train. Yeah, guys, get out there and train. Have have us have a group. In this case, we have Epsilon out in the PNW and many other great organizations. Or organizations, check them out. Get that training. That's what really matters, especially that community aspect when it comes to 2A. So make sure you do it. Thanks for coming on, guys. Appreciate hey, you guys. Always a pleasure. Thanks for just suffering for me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Always. All right, before you guys leave, yes, we usually have nothing else for anybody. And we do have nothing else for you. I'm just kidding, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> dad advice, guys. All right. What is your dad advice for my audience? Uh, make sure if you are grand thumbing yourself, make sure it's just your thumb and nothing else. <laughs> Damn, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'll give something. So I believe that my dad advice is to disconnect from your electronics every once in a while. You know, get out, go camping, be out in nature, enjoy it while you can. Oh, yeah. Love it, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. Guys, a big thank you to all the supporters of this channel, to Patreon. Thanks for helping out so much. And a big thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this particular video.